it's like, don't you fellas? You know, that cold feeling when you've said the wrong thing, done the wrong thing. You might have offered advice, of course, but it's always fallen on deaf ears. And this is now the world that the former royal known as Prince Harry, uh, of course, the Duke of Sussex, is literally living in. If you think about it, before he had the power, didn't he? The power of his family behind him. Meghan apparently was going to hit the ground running and, of course, engulf everything that came towards her. She didn't care about being famous, about being an actress anymore. No, she was going to devote her life to charity. Similarly, though, the charity that Harry had no idea about about was named one thing, Meghan Markle. And now as he goes through the minefield of trying to work out exactly where his life has imploded, even he is now trying to kick back. But apparently it's not going too well. And it's resulting in that dreaded thing that happens in marriages, long periods of silence. And in this instance, not speaking as ever let me explain morning lovely to see you today we're in the king's gallery right now which is i don't know if you can see that yes you can just see that this king's gallery yes they've got an exhibition on at the moment royal portraits very well worth a look round, let me tell you because when you look at these pictures they are iconic some beautiful pictures of the late and very beautiful i thought princess margaret and indeed the queen mother taken by cecil beaton a very celebrated photographer who she liked as we told you about in a recent event because he let slip all the gossip that was going on behind the scenes Mm, very clever idea of course the Queen Mother she was well ahead of her time you know think about it she knew what was going on yes knew how to cut the mustard as they say some people might not say the same reflection of course of the former royal known as Meghan Markle the former cable TV actress you see what happens as you know on a more serious note in a relationship is one person has the power the power goes and then you try and get the middle ground. Well, Harry sadly has lost the middle ground and it's obvious. You know, when you think about it, she runs the show. He's more than happy to be the bag carrier, the door opener, not just for her, but of course for Meghan's mother, Doria Racklin too. And for a time, this seemed exciting, you know, the freedom flight, everything that he wanted, a different life away from royal cumbersome news, all that sort of stuff. And he openly pointed out, didn't he, that nobody wanted the monarch's job. He, he said that, and I do believe that Harry wanted a different life. But was this truly now the life that he wanted? As he knows, you know, royal protocol, royal history is very much embedded in his DNA. He knows exactly how important these issues are, these big events to not just the British public, of course, across the Commonwealth and around the world. Things like the recent Troop in the Colour, the official birthday of His Majesty the King. Now, as he would know, the inside out of what goes on behind the scenes, how it's all put together and how it's fraught, of course, with last minute worries. And in particular this year, of course, whether the Princess of Wales, Catherine, would make that now wonderful appearance. But according to a source, it's imploded over in Montecito and it's all down to the fact that apparently Harry felt, even he felt, that it was in bad taste to launch a product literally hours before. And this really did become a big, big argument. And according to my source, who's impeccable, and as ever we have to say, allegedly, this went on and on. Now, apparently Megan said that she had uh, apparently wanted to launch this brand, this new stuff, the dog biscuits and the jam, but the timing had got wrong and they had apparently posted at the wrong time. Now, does Harry truly believe that? I mean, really? Does he believe that? But of course, this is the situation he's in. And I was told that it literally was a very, very fraught atmosphere. But Meghan apparently just ploughed on and said, well, it is what it is. You know, it's not really that bothered to her. It's not her history. It's not her family. Clearly, this is the opening tentacles, as it were, for Prince Harry trying to make some kind of inroads uh, to making sure that he didn't offend. But he's now lost all control in that marriage. Meghan rules the roost, she's going to be the one bringing in the money, and of course he's got his inheritance to come. But he will come back down again and do exactly what she wants, because right now, who else has he got? But isn't it a shame, whether you like Harry or not in this present moment, that it's literally come to this. She's railroaded over him, tried to blame somebody else, and more importantly, Harry's now, well, literally spending hours away trying to cool down his hot-headedness. All because, of course, she wanted to promote dog biscuits and a couple of pots of jam. How did he fall so low? Neil Sean, King's Gallery, London.